everybody. I just joined TikTok and I wanted to tell you why. I've been experimenting with it for a little bit. I use it for my creative business and uh, my shop and uh, I kind of want to tell you why I decided to get into this. As someone who loves Instagram so much, you, you know how I feel about Instagram. I have multiple videos about it <laughs> that you can go and see, but I'm really excited about TikTok and I kind of want to get you stoked on it too, if you're not already. So if you want to learn more about why I decided to join it and how I'm using it for my business, stick around. Um, if you like learning about enamel pins or just looking at enamel pins, finding new artists um, to buy from and support, uh, hit subscribe. I've got a lot of good stuff about pins and pin business. So um, now that that's out of the way, <laughs> uh, I want to tell you the first reason I decided to join TikTok was to promote my business. I mean, duh, that's not really rocket science, right? Um, when I've been on Instagram for a long time, you know, everyone talks about the algorithm and it changes constantly and it is absolutely my main source of social marketing for my business. I love it. I will always love it. I will always use it. Um, but Instagram does require you to do lots of different things within the app. And something about it was just feeling a lot like a chore. And especially right now, I'm filming this, we're a year into the pandemic. Everything is hard. <laughs> Everything feels heavy. And the idea of this constant churning with the purpose of selling just kind of weighed on me a lot. You know, um, if you can relate, let me know in the comments <laughs> so we can commiserate together. Um, but there was something about TikTok after joining it and not really posting, just kind of hanging out on the platform and like seeing what people were doing and um, seeing kind of what the algorithm there chose to show me. Um, I was really intrigued and I was seeing a lot of other small business owners promoting their work in such a fun, lighthearted way that I was just really drawn to it. I learned so much about those creators in such a small amount of time, you know, um, because the platform is so personal with video and I just really, I wanted to promote my stuff on there. <laughs> the second reason I decided to join TikTok was it was going to give me an opportunity to create video content that I could then repurpose. So um, I make my videos, I edit them in an app called InShot, and I'll have links below um, to like resources and stuff. But I edit it there and that way I can have the video stand alone and then I can put it into TikTok add any extra fun um, special features they have, like the text. I love the text duration. I love the uh, text to speech voice they have. It's really fun. Um, and then of course, using the music that uh, they provide as well, um, because all of that kind of stuff kind of mooshes in to make a good video that TikTok wants to kind of push out and show people. Um, but I can also use that video um, on Instagram reels <laughs> without having like the TikTok logo because Instagram has said they're not going to promote um, videos that you just download off of TikTok and put onto reels because it has that TikTok um, logo on it. And I mean, obviously they don't want that. I mean, it's their platform. Like I totally get it. Um, but this way I can make one piece of content, edit it in one spot, and then use it in two places. I can also use that video in my shop listings. If you have Shopify or Etsy, they allow short clips that you can add on to your listings. So if you're just doing a TikTok showing off one product, stick it in that listing. You know, if you're showing your product being used in a certain way, stick it in multiple listings so people can see it. That extra added video is a really good way to kind of up your conversion rate uh, in your shop because people love seeing things in context and seeing your products being used. I just love the idea of having one piece of content that I can repurpose in different places. The third reason I wanted to join TikTok was to have fun. <laughs> like I said before, Instagram was feeling like a chore. Um, I do weekly emails. I'm, I'm starting that back up again. I, I didn't have time for it for a long time in the pandemic. You guys get it. I don't need to tell. I don't need to tell you what it's like to live through this, especially 
as a business owner. So um, it's just the, the constant churning and creating of content can get heavy. So there's something about TikTok, just hanging out on that app and seeing people, they don't care what's in the background. They don't care what you look like. I mean, there's always gonna be trolls in every comment section anywhere, but the people that I have come across on TikTok have been so kind and so supportive. I had one video that um, was about seconds, just kind of explaining what seconds are. And um, I showed some examples because I had a second sale um, a few weeks ago. And that's irrelevant to the story. <laughs> um, but so many of the comments, if you go look at the comments on that, they are like, oh, I couldn't see anything wrong. Oh, I love flawed pins. They have more character. Like they were just so kind and so uplifting. And it reminds me a lot of like the Instagram pin community and everyone is just so sweet and so supportive and so understanding and like excited to support small business owners. And it was just, uh, it's just a place to kind of create, experiment, have fun, not really care too much about the numbers, just care about, you know, the kind of stuff I'm putting out. So I'm on there to have fun. I'm on there to promote my business. I'm on there to get to know people and get to know kind of the, the culture on TikTok. Um, I haven't really tried any of the trends yet. I'm like, I'm 37 years old. These are all teenagers. What am I doing on here? <laughs> but it's been really fun. Nobody cares. I follow people older than me. Um, so if that's holding you back, don't let that hold you back. Um, age does not matter on TikTok, truly. Um, it just matters that you're there to have fun and engage with the people there. So all that to say, I'm excited to be on TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. Um, come say hi if you like follow me from here to there. Say like, oh, I saw you on YouTube. Um, I would love to kind of connect with you that way. And yeah, um, if you have any questions about it, I've been following a few people that have been really helpful so I can kind of point you in the direction of uh, people to help you kind of uh, give you ideas of what to post and how to post it. There's a lot of technical stuff that's it's really not that bad. Um, it can take a little bit longer than like shooting a video or uh, shooting photos, obviously, but it's super fun and totally worth it. And I highly recommend it. So I'm late to the, I'm late to the game. I know, <laughs> but I hope that this encourages you to start your own TikTok and start promoting your business on there too. So let me know how it goes. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff that I have to say every time. <laughs> and I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.